men meeting here at the Greater Bell Cathedral. And I want to remind all of the men about their monthly dues of $20. Amen. We have certain things coming up and we need to meet our obligations. Amen. So be reminded, this is now April. So you have January, February, March, April. Amen. Each one has $80 for me. Amen. So bring me $100 each individual. Amen. So that we can um, be in good standing. Amen. Women's conference or women's meeting this Tuesday. Oh, yeah. At, oh, yeah. Women's conference Tuesday, April 16th at 7.30 p.m. Calvary's Deliverance. Lady Menace is asking all of our ladies, amen, to support her in the attendance. Amen. So God bless you all. Let us all stand now as we receive our Minister Maya and the praise team. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I know that we're alive, but just before we start, there's a song that quite a bit of people have asked me to sing and minister with them. So, just before we start, can you break for me? All right, so let's get the movements together, okay? So you have fist pump, side pump, roll, throw. Let's try it again. Fist pump, side pump, roll, throw. Again, fist pump, side pump, roll, throw. One more time. Fist pump, side pump, roll, throw. Big guy, big guy. Yeah, big guy. All right, it's always by my side. By my side. A very big guy. So I have a very big fist pump. Bump. Roll, throw. I have a very big guy. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. He's always by my side. He's always by my side. A very big guy. All right, let's see if you can do it up the temple. You think you can do it? All right. Okay, fist pump, side pump, roll. Fist pump, side pump, roll, throw. There you go. Big guy. Big guy. He's always by my, he's always by my, a very big. Ah, you got it. <laughs> All right. Come on. Right here. Two. Ready, go. Fist pump.
side. He's always Hallelujah. by my side. A very big guy. Hallelujah. He's always by my side. He's always by my side. A very big guy. Glory to Jesus. Everybody, come on. He's always by my side. He's always by my side. A very big guy. Come on, sing it in three. He's always. He's always by my side. He's always by my side. A very big guy. He's always by my
comes to glory of the Lord. Sweeping in the room Here comes the glory of the Lord Here comes the glory of the Lord Sweeping in the room Very lightly, come on here comes the glory of the Lord. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Here comes the glory of the Lord. And it's sweeping in the room. Sweeping in the room. So
Take a few seconds. Just lift up the name of the Lord. Everybody. The power of God is inevitable in this place. The glory of God is moving in this house. And today your miracle is inevitable in this place. Whatever you need God to do for you, right now, God will do it for you. If you could believe it today, you can receive it. Take another few moments. I said his glory is in the house. I said his glory is in this place. The glory, the glory. Open up your mouth. Lift your hands to God. Your miracle is in the house. Your breakthrough is in the house. Your anointing is in the house. A surplus to your life is in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. The glory is in the house. Sing it again, worshipers. Yes. Here comes the glory. with your glory. an eradication of every situation every devil and every demon God is gathered because the glory is the doxia and the power and the splendor of the Lord in the day the, the spirit of the Lord is going to rest on your mightily area because the greatest glory is not in the illumination but the greatest glory is in the revelation. 
and the greatest glory of the revelation is the Lord Jesus Christ. God who in sundry times and in divers manners had spoken unto the fathers by the prophets, but in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, the glory of the Lord rests upon you today from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet not only hallelujah be the thrill but today that every aspect of your life will be filled Re receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus it is yours as you step into this house today You take your shoe off your feet. The glory of the Lord fill the Lord's house. The place where uh, Jacob landed, they called it Zin. But when he built those pillows or the stones and he lied there all night, when he saw heaven open and a ladder from planet earth to planet heaven and angels ascending and descending, he said, truly this is the presence of the living God. And the name was changed from Zin to Bethel because Bethel suggests house of God but as they went further they saw how God flipped the switch and turned the current and God took over everything himself so they said Bethel would not cut it so we got to call it El Bethel because he is the God of the house there is a healing that is needed that is most crucial and critical in your family Today, God is going to use you as a conduit to disperse the miracle to those or miracles to those that needs it most. So when the power of the Lord would have touched you, that would minister instant healing to those that are close and near and dear to you. So today, hallelujah, the power of God is going to it's just going to rest on you in a mighty way. And once God would have touched you, healing would be inevitable over your loved ones. Today the power of God is going to emanate and it's going to fill Adelaide, the Lord's house. And then it's going to dispatch into those places that's most needed. And because you are the vessel of the Lord, set apart, meet fit for the master's use, the power of God is going to Try to you. Sing it, worshipers. She's good. Listen. Princess, you love music. The sisters of your life saw you playing music at your wedding. You all are very gifted, talented, musically inclined. But today, as you came into the house, As the music filled the air, and because you still love music, periodically you would have some issues in your right hand and right side. When you came in and you began to enjoy, because music always captured your attention. And then the melody and the harmony and the spirit, the presence of God began to flow. 
your body was instantly healed, right in the same view that you are. Let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. So every issue that was there before you came, God just remedied you of it. His glory fill the house. Let's go. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. The glory. Everybody lift your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, yes, go worship us. My brother, law the Lord just spoke and he said he's going to allow angels ministering spirits to show up in your house and in your home there going to be a divine visitation from the Lord. And the entire atmosphere in your house is going to change inevitably. Lift your hands for God today. The change is going to be so pronounced. The change is going to be with such accuracy. And the thing about it is, you will be able to identify because you got a word from the Lord. And you will know it because everything that was antiistic will come in an alignment for the assignment. Everything that is out of function, it either going to go or it going to get back in function. Because the presence of the Lord had touch down in your house to remedy, to fix, hallelujah, to secure every faucet in your house. Because that is your desire from the Lord. And certain things, they are intolerable by you. You said certain things, I will not stand for it. God came by and sanctioned it and said he validate the thoughts that's in your heart. Give God a shout of praise. I've got to go. Listen here. beautiful young sister that I know she has a word from the Lord and I told them because of certain impediments I will not be the speaker for the day but for you are in this house listen to this carefully for the past few weeks it is like around it is not quite three weeks but it's a little over two weeks. So for me to be quite accurate and precise, it would have to be like around two and a half weeks, going on to three weeks. You have been fought by the spirit of the devil diabolically, so much so that you felt literally felt and experienced the power of the enemy for the first time in your life. And after that experience, you said, you know, I know for an assurance now that Satan is real. The powers of hell is real. I want you to come to this podium today. This is not for everybody. But you were fought by a live, living demon from hell. And it was the last two and a half, almost three weeks. And it was so, so well until at one point it literally had you froze. Froze, froze, froze like like froze like i mean stiff and you say god what's going on in my body what's going on in my life and 
today. God is going to free you of that again. God is going to free you of that today. And you had the same experience also. Yeah, yeah. And God is lift your hands for God. Listen. The one you love so you stood in the gap is totally healed right now in Jesus' name. No more No more attack over your life. Particularly in that magnitude. Particularly to that intensity. The origin of that was to put you down for good never to rise again but the last church service were held you are at the altar and God gave you dose number one hallelujah to take you from where you were to where you are today had not you come and, and, and the thing about it is God said you were betwixt and between whether or not you should come but you say no devil you are a liar I'm going to that altar and you already saw what well, is so awesome today the power of God is inevitable the power of God is imminent in this place and the spirit of God is already hallelujah over your life fire the Holy Ghost And then God would have free her this time. The inevitable power of God is who God said free is free indeed. Holy Ghost, power of the living God. We decree and declare today by the awesome spirit of Jehovah God today. Your daughter is totally free, liberated by the power of God from every atrocity of the enemy. We call it forth. We call it forth. Get ready. The power of God is going to rest on you even mightier. We call it forth. They call it forth. That's on her. In the name of Jesus, put that thing under her head. was so intensifying to you because it was a combination and a compiled attack against you. Four different attacks was launched at you. The first was so intensified it came up against your mind. And had not been God with you, you was supposed to have lost your mind. The next one would fight you in your house. Peace was from you in your house. And the peace, the lack of the peace and the severity of the attack of the enemy didn't want you to go in your own house. In addition to that, the third was a spirit that came up against your body sexually to annihilate hallelujah your spirit man God wouldn't allow that to happen and fourthly the other one the last one was sent to you from somebody you know as well now it appears like a family member but it doesn't necessarily have to be it could be somebody that was close to you that you thought was your friend four different attacks simultaneously it is no way outside of God 
you would have been in this sanctuary today but the grace today God is going to touch your body first because there's an attack and the enemy against your health God will heal from that on today the attack against your mind God will free your mind Give it up for the Lord. Oh, we could do better than that. Today, God is just so awesome. We give thanks and praise today for all of you beautiful people that are with us. Came from far and near to celebrate and to rejoice in the God of our salvation with us. We honor God today for our worshipers. Let's give God a praise for the worshipers. And that's wonderful today. Let's give God a real thunderous, voluminous shout of praise for the worshipers. Hallelujah. Today for the dancers. Oh, give God the glory for the dancers today. And so, for our moderator, for the dancers, for the people of God today, for the ministers, let's give God a shout of praise for them right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Each and every one of y'all in your respective offices. Hallelujah. We thank you. 
thank God today for his presence, his power, his glory, his splendor. Hallelujah. That is glorious among us today. And today, uh, if you are in this building and you are felt the reverberation of power of the Holy Ghost, lift your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. Amen. No cliche, hallelujah. No make-believe. If you literally came into this place today and you felt the power of God in a real way in your spirit and in your life, give God a shout of praise today. That's what I'm talking about. Praise and worshipers, the anointing of God flowed on this podium, hallelujah, in a crazy way today. We honor God for that today, hallelujah. And so we want to give God thanks and praise for all of our matriarch and patriotic men, women of God. Uh, some with us today, some are not with us, but we bless God for them all and for all the saints, hallelujah, that make every service Hallelujah, a remarkable and an enjoyable one in the presence of the Lord. And today we have some very special persons among us today. Hallelujah, amen. Our very own son, Brother Dwight, and his wonderful bride, Sister Princess. Let's give God a shout of praise for them. Shavane Watson with us. Let's give God a shout of praise for Shavane. Watson today, Skylar DeVoe. Where's Skylar today? Wave your hand, Skylar. Oh. Hallelujah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Let's put it up for Skylar one more time. Skylar, we love you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Claudine DeVoe. Give it up for Claudine. Where's Claudine? Claudine. Oh, bless you, Claudine. Give God a wave. Claudine, bless you today. Hallelujah. Amen. Brittany Campbell. There is Sister Brittany. Hallelujah. Wave your hands, Brittany. Where is Brittany? I've got way over there. Bless you. Brittany, bless you. Hallelujah. Sister Belinda, you waved on the Lord. You way in the back. I need a seal. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Adonis, stir up. Hallelujah. Yes, put it up. Jaden, I need to see the hands. Jaden, God bless you. Jaden Moxie. Hallelujah. And uh, Lana Moxie. God bless you so. Amen. Let's give God a shout of praise for everybody today. We are so thrilled. Hallelujah. And again, I'm excited about the Lord. And I see God did miracles in this place today while the worship was going on. And worshipers today, I want to say that the Lord, hallelujah, is ready to bless each and every one of you personally, individually and in a remarkable way. Let's give God a shout. Open. You can praise God for yourselves. Hallelujah. And uh, I, I, I told them, amen, today I don't want to do a whole lot of screaming and shouting, but tomorrow by the grace of God I believe I can have a whole lot of screaming and shouting to do on tomorrow. And so I want everybody now be going over at Believers Embassy International and uh, they are in their seventh year of anniversary. Brother Vince, give God a wave. God bless you. Love you, my beloved. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Sandra Burroughs and all you beautiful people love you also. And so they start their service at seven. So I want all of the cathedral lights. I'm not asking today. I'm demanding today. Different order. So therefore, praise and worship, music, you'll be there from 6.30. So that you can synchronize. Because when we go tomorrow by God's grace, we are not going to be ministering to be ministered to. We are going to minister and take charge with the power of the Holy Ghost. Do I have a witness? So, Judy, I'm looking for you. You can be right up front uh, next to me. And so, tomorrow, I tell you about 
one and seven by the grace of God, I will be there. And I'm looking for you all to be there from about 6.30, there about, and I want the cathedral lights to be in front. So everybody will come after you all. Hallelujah. They would have to take the, the following pews. And so we were looking for an exciting time. And so I said, I, I would not be able to, uh, you know, maximize and intensify what I would like to do today if I expect to do what I intend for the Lord to do uh, through and for me on tomorrow. So I will just sit back today. But the service today was so glorious. And uh, it was so uh, powerful. The worshipers, my God. And, 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 and uh, I got the action and I got the motion. Somebody say, take that. <laughs> so God bless you. God bless you also. And uh, with no further delay, uh, let's give God a praise for our Zoom house. Minister of Finance. Minister Candy Antonio. I say today, uh, well-rounded, well-grounded, proliferated God. The blessings of God be yours today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Someone say, Do you believe He can do it again for you? Do you believe he can turn around that situation? Yes, that thing you've been praying for. Glory be to God. I hear he said, I'm about to do a new thing. I'm about to turn it around. Come on, Maya. He'll do it again. And he'll do it again for you. It would be just purely remiss of me if I were not to give recognition, God, thanks and praise today for my dear sister, daughter, Sister Philippa today. Hallelujah. One of our greatest mother among us in the faith, Mother Evangelist Mary Rams's baby daughter. And for all she has been through, she still loves joy. And the power of God is still inevitable. Look at God today, people of God. 
Look at the awesomeness of God today. Let's give God a shout of praise. Worship us. Go sing it again. He'll do it. He will. He'll do it. Look at me. I'm a testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm standing here only because he made a way. And saints of God, my topic on today. You can kindly, you can kindly be seated. A reflective praise births a perfected praise. A reflective praise births a perfected praise. Glory be to God. See, saints of God, see, I don't know about you. But when I think of the goodness and where God has brought me from, see, I only can talk for Cranky today. Where he has brought me from, glory be to God. You're looking at a woman who almost lost her mind. Don't he hear me on today? You're looking at a woman who the enemy wanted to go up silent. Oh God, you only hear me today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, thinks I'm still here and I'm still clothed in my right mind. If I leave it up to the enemy, I would have been a dead duck. But all for the goodness of God, all for the grace of God, I'm still standing here. love this scripture, Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 through 4. And you know, I'm not a Bible scholar like Bishop, but can I tell you, during one of the morning Zoom prayers last in 2023, Bishop died into the scripture. And the Lord said, Candy, this is for you. This is your testimony. And it reads, But now thus says the Lord, that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passeth through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not burn thee. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, the Savior. I gave Egypt for ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I love thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee, <laughs> and people, and people, right. and people for thy 
life. Saints of God, let me take you down memory lane. I'm going back into reflection. This is my little, this little synopsis of my journey in 2022. Going about my business. I went to a friend house to take some food. They said, Candy, there's a swelling in your neck. I said, my neck? No. I said, give it a mirror. Let me look. I said, I don't see anything. And they pointed to the little swelling. I say, it's amazing, Bishop. I get ready every morning for a big old mirror, but I didn't see it. They say, you should go and get it checked out. I said, okay. I went to my doctor, and she said, it looks like that's your thyroid. I said, okay. She said, I need you to go and do a scan. So I went and do a scan. This there now, me backtrack, this is December 2022, coming down to the ending part of the year. So I went to the doctor, I did the scan, I gave her the results, she said, okay. She said, now I need you to see a specialist, because according to the scan, this tumor thing in your neck is so big. So let me tell you how to mind play trick on you. So I, didn't, I never saw this thing in my neck. Now that I hear that I have this thing in my neck, all of a sudden now when I look in my mirror, this thing look big, now I can see it. I say, oh God, what is this? Three days, coming into the new year, the enemy attacked my body. It was so bad. I came down with a fever. I say, maybe, I don't know, maybe I get some kind of sinus infection. Okay. I took a Panadol Advil. But the pain would not subside, Bishop. The pain would not go away. I say, okay, God. I went to bed. Get back up. A massive headache. I say, now, nah, God, now nah, my head. I say, okay, God, maybe I need to rest. Next day, we had Bible study at Wednesday. And I, I call Lady Mel. I say, Lady Mel, I don't feel well. And I lay down. She said, okay, we get someone to wrap up the, the Zoom. And I lay down in my bed. And whilst laying in my bed, the thing came all over me, a hot heat, a hot wave of heat. I started shivering in my bed. I screamed, I said, now the sky come. I can't move. I was pinned in my bed, shivering, high, high fever. And when I swallowed, it was like my saliva couldn't pass. next day, I called Bishop that night, he prayed. The next day, I went to the doctor. She said, take these antibiotics and go back home. So okay, I did that. <laughs> Can I tell you, it's like, when I took those antibiotics, it's like I got worse. I say, what is this this woman give me? She's trying to kill me. <laughs> take him two or three days. Bishop, no results. It got worse. When I went in the mirror and I looked open my mouth, it was red. It was in flames. I called the other doctor. I said, my doctor, give me something, but this ain't working. I need something else. She said, okay, I'm going to give you something else. But let me tell you what happened. That night, I was laying down in my bed. I went to sleep. I had a dream. And I dreamt this mom was walking in the kitchen area. Now, this is real life. I was walking in the kitchen area in the dream. But my mother was sitting at the table. But in this awakened life, she, that's her favorite spot at this table by the back door. But in the dream, she was sitting at, at that same spot. 
And this man was walking in the front of me. I couldn't see his face. Only a black shadow. And I, whilst I was walking, the man started to walk behind me. Now, I'm in a dream now, and I see him walking behind me. My mother shadowed in the dream, Candy! The dead spirit is following you! I say, what, mommy? I turn around, and I backtrack my steps to get my steps back. These things, I woke up. I didn't tell no one a couple of days. I'm gonna be honest with you today. I laid in my bed. I knew I was gonna die. I knew I was going to die. I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody. I started thinking about everybody. I said, God, I ain't gonna be here no more. I can see Bishop, I can see Lady Mayor, I can see Yonika Esther, I can see Tanya. I'm not gonna see anyone. I knew I was going to die. God, now if you shut my mouth, how am I to praise you? I don't need no rock and no one crying over me. I want to use this mouth that you blessed me with to give you thanks and praise. Thanks of God, the last night in the year. I was so sick, December 31st, crossing over into 2023. Everyone knew I was sick. Sister Linda got a test because I called her. Everyone was going to church. I said, God, I can't fix my hair. I can't do nothing. It feels so bad. I say, but God, despite how I feel, I'm going to throw on something and I'm going to come into your house. It's crossing over into 2023. I came to church that night. It was so, the weather was bad. It was very draughty. It was, it was cold. I wrap up myself. I sat upstairs. I said, God, if I'm going to cross over in 2023, I'm not going to do it home in my house. I'm going to go where the sinks are there praying. I'm going to go where the sinks are crying out. Because I know once I get in the house of the Lord, whatever I was dealing with, got to go. And Bishop called for prayers. The enemy say, sit right there. You got to come downstairs. Stay right there, girl. You know you won't feel good. I said, that's true, you know. I said, you know what, no. I got up, came down them steps, came to the front. Bishop prayed, the thing started praying. Glory be to God. I looked at everyone. I said, God, you made this the last time I'm gonna see these people. I said, God. I praise you, I worship you. God, I told you, tell me too. I say I might do everything all the time, but I try my best. I say, God, you let me leave my child. And that Sunday, cross into the new year. My other was saying to Saul, God will take care of you. I say, God, you talking to me? He say, yeah, I talking to you. I will take care of you. Despite what you're dealing with, I will take care of you. Monday, the doctor said, go in Palmdale to the medical place, do another scan. I said, okay, ultrasound. On the table, trembling, it called. I was still trying to mess with my mind. <laughs> I say, Jesus, you said you're going to take care of me. 
when I leave the place, and I was driving, I was talking to God. And can I tell you things, God is real? Jump back in my car, I heard the Holy Spirit say, actually he sang, he sang in my ear. He sang, I will take care of you. Glory be to God. Thanks of God. Let me tell you something. In the new year, the third day in the new year, still feeling bad. He got a call. They said, your cousin just died. I say, what? Mind you, he wasn't all that ill. He wasn't all that ill. They said, your cousin, young boy, your cousin just died. He's like, 35? Just died. I say, what? The Holy Spirit said, Candy, you know it was supposed to be you, right? I say, God, I know. Saints of God, listen here. Because he loved me so much. Because I'm so precious in his sight. He said, I give Egypt for thy ransom. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Selah for thee. He said, I will give men for thee. And people for thy life. You only hear me up in here today. I say, God, you love me that much. Glory be to God. See, when the death, I love when Bishop, Bishop say this, when the death angel <laughs> came looking for candy, she was nowhere to be found. When the death angel came looking for me, God say, hold up now. You can't take her. I ain't finished with her yet. You better back up. Because he loved me. Rather than taking me, he took my cousin. And let me tell you something, things. I always wanted to go to Freeport. I'm a young teenager, young teenager. And let me tell you this. In those days before I got saved, my girlfriend and I planned to go to the homecoming thing. And let me tell you something. My bike park, ready to go. To go party and can't wait. I'm hiding my clothes. I heard a voice. You can't go. I turn around. I say, Jesus, I hear and take. Say, I can't go. My bag the pack. Voice said, You can't go. From then, the enemy was on my trail. From then, he wanted to take me out, but God said, I got purpose on your life, my God. I'm just getting ready, my God, to do a work in you. Glory be to God. So, saints of God, the Lord say, you're going free poet to your cousin funeral. I saw it going to take for this to happen for me to get to free poet. I say, Bishop, I'm going free poet. It's okay, I can pray for you before you go. Saints of God, when I got free poet, Amen. by the funeral home. And I looked at him. The only person I saw was myself in the coffin. I said, God, what are you saying? You bring me here to show what are you saying? Time for the funeral. The Lord said, this is supposed to be your homegoing service. I say, what? God, my homegoing service? He said, yeah. The enemy had already planned everything. I say, this is supposed to be your service. I say, okay, God. Like Bishop say, 
Sometimes we got to flip the script and turn the coin. I say, okay. I say, God, whilst I can still praise you, I'm going to praise you. And can I tell you things of God doing the funeral service and the worship service? You would have thought I was losing my mind in there. Because everyone was looking at me like, what is going on with this woman? I say, Jesus, you brought me this far, and I know you will not leave me. And things of God, Bishop, I worship. I say, you old devil, and I got up with all the authority and the power in me. I say, you thought you could have killed me, but you lost this one. And I worship her, and I praise her. I say, oh God, I thank you. If it wasn't for you on my side, that would have been me in that coffin. Things of God, come back from Freeport. Client called me the next week, started to feel better. So now you know the enemy mad, right? Okay, she escaped that. Client called me. Please, I need some makeup. It's okay. Drive into the client's house. Boof! This thing struck me in my right arm. Arm drop. Starting to feel numb. It's the right arm I need this to drive with. I say, God, what is this again? He said, you're having a stroke. <laughs> I said, what, God? You're having a stroke. I put on the side of the road. I say, stroke? Let me tell you something. You ain't taking me out today. I pull on the side of the road. I start decreeing and declaring, I shall live and not die. I shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord. Listen here. I say, devil, you are a liar. Glory be to God. I say, guess what? If it didn't kill me then, you ain't gonna kill me now. Because the grace, the favor, the love, the power, the anointing, the calling is on my life. I say, God, why me? After all the hurt, the pain, why me? God, every time you get over one hurdle, something else. From a child to being going through, rejected, neglected, talk about, lied about, scorn. What next, God? Why me? Candy, I call you. I call you. And I will take care of you. So this morning I say, God, I always say it, why me? He said, let them know. And you have to know. This is the season we have to change our verbiage. He say, it's not why me, it's now use me. Glory be to God. It's not why me no more. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. It's Lord, if you can use anything else, use me. It's not my, why me, why? No, 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 no. It's now Lord, you can use me. If it takes for this thyroid, glory be to God to make me feel sometimes or to walk. God, you can, you can still use me. When the enemy wanted to silence me and shut my mouth, I still had a praise. I said, God, it's not my, why me? It's now. You can use me. You can use me. <laughs> Thanks of God. When I think of his goodness and all, it's just so much to go down that lean today. It's so much to talk about. The situations, the heartache, the pain. My God, going through, like the word of God say, when they go through the waters. 
It would overthrow me and water speaks to your emotion. All those things you got to encounter, you got to deal with. You're giving your best, you're doing your best. And still feel like it's not enough. Going through the rivers. My God, you're going through listen, those desert places. Where you feel all alone, it's only you one. I wouldn't talk with those fiery situations. Every time you turn, you gotta talk. You gotta talk. You gotta lean back. It's a thought. Something coming at you. Say, Candy, if you remember nothing else, remember I, your God, will take care of you. I don't care what it looks like or what it seems. I, the Lord, will take care of you. And I so thank God that he has, so, listen now, he has changed my mindset. He has changed my mindset. Glory be to God. God, I see what I had to go through. It ain't about me. It's for your glory. It's for your glory. It's for your glory. Glory be to God. So saints of God, when I say a reflective praise, oh, glory be to God. Oh, you listen here, listen. I had some days, saints of God. I'll be sitting down sweating. And sometimes this guy will come in the room. I'll be like, enemy trying to attack my mind. Sky, what did they ask again? What did, what, 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 Sky, tell me, hurry, tell me, hurry, tell me. I had those days when the enemy wanted to steal my mind. Sky, yeah. when is my birthday again? <laughs> Jesus. Glory be to God. Things of God. I, Candy, Amanda, Kamika, Antonio, I'm standing here only because he made a way. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Sing it again. 
walkest through the waters and you will not be drowned neither will the flood kindle over you God will take care of you she went through the scriptures and she said when the death angel came knocking at her door and it was supposed to be hot but because she had a praise for her God, God said, I'm not going to let the dead angel take you, but your loved one, they're going to go, but you're going to stay because your work ain't finished yet. Today you are here because you still have a praise for God. You are here today because you have a mind to live for the Lord. You are here today because you love the Lord. And so when God saw the integrity of your heart and the determination of your soul, and he saw that you say, God, whatever my hands find for me to do to your honor and to your glory, I will do that. And so as a result, God put that curse in reverse. Hallelujah. And God turned around and said, you shall live and not die to declare the glory of the Lord. Everybody ought to give God a shout of praise for that. Sing it again. Take it again. Take it again. Wash a push. Hold on. Get a basket. I want an offering for our preaching today. What for your seed, for your offering, for your gift, for your tithing, for your consideration, your remuneration, you place it 
on the altar. What for the preaching today? I want you to put it in So before anybody we do pray that this word renewed, strengthened, and have transformed your very lives. Bishop Minnis and the Cathedral family thanks you for visiting us today. We do appreciate you sharing this mighty word from God with family and friends and following us on Facebook at Greater Bethel Cathedral Bahamas. Until next time, God be glorified and God be lifted up.